have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. Yeah, K Web. We got the messenger. Scoop. God Squad. What up, Grace? Yeah. Hey, check this out. Yeah. Hey, I got favor. I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God Squad. Yes, I got favor. God Squad. Hey, I got favor. Yes, Lord. Hey, I got favor. Yes, Lord. Forget a hater. Forget a hater. Cause I got favor. Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God Squad. Yes, I got favor. God Squad. Forget a hater. Live the life of sin, I thank God that I'm alive Guns drawn at me at 16, I didn't hey, I die People thought I'd be in jail cause I used to steal But i never been to jail, I'ma keep it real yes, Lord. Jesus turned my life around and he let me, know. let me know If you keep sinning, man in hell is where you finna go, go. Then he gave me a wife and a family get, 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 get. Tons of blessings, now I'm stunting on the enemy Son, I live for Christ, I ain't perfect, I ain't hurting Tell the devil I'm with Jesus, cause I know we out here searching Man, I'm working on the beat, for the Lord you know I'm wildin' And as long as Jesus with me, I'ma always keep on smiling. Hey, I got favor, I got favor, yes I got favor, yes I got favor Hey, I got favor, God, yes I got favor, God, hey I got favor, yes I got favor Hey, I got favor, God, yes I got favor, God, squad. Hey, I got favor. Yes, hey, I got favor. yes, Lord, forget a hater, forget Cause I got favor, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, God squad. Yes, I got favor, God squad. Go get a hater, who squad? Cause I got favor, God squad. Hey, I got favor. Walk through the storm. Search for my spirit, y'all. Pushed by the wrongs, persuaded by material. Sunday it was church, Monday back to thugging. Tuesday on the block, Wednesday I was lusting. Thursday chased girls, Friday played how. Thirty I was dipping, your boy was wildin' out. He's bringing out the best now, I'm poking out my chest now. Something about his name, no lie, feeling fresh now. These spiritual weights got me strong in the word. I'm drunk in the gospel, the reason I swerve. My picture was blurry, so my father repainted. My soul was dirty, tossed it up, it reflamed. Hey, I got favor, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God squad. Yes, I got favor. God squad. Hey, I got favor. Yes, sir. Hey, I got favor. Yes, sir. Forget a hater. Forget a hater. Cause I got favor. Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God squad. Yes, I got favor. God squad. Forget a hater. Yeah. gotta put no logic to it. You ain't gotta put no signs to it or no bastards to it. In the natural, when the spirit moving, I love my God. Got me walking straight with my head high and I ain't never been no sun guy. Got two kids and a blessed wife. God cooks his favorite punch and I'm all in. Got room, wanna serve a bunch. Don't walk off filled up. Never knew it was there. Now you stand up with your hands up. That's when that hand touch and the glory of God drop in about the flood up. Everybody put a praise up cause I'ma do it within. You got a heartbeat, stand up. Love. This world can't tame us when we know the deal. You stressing, sitting, guessing if the love is real. My favor ain't determined by my shining web. God is all I know, I know it is you. Hey, I got favor, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, God squad, yes, I got favor, God squad. Hey, I got favor, yes, Lord. hey, I got favor, yes, Lord. forget a hater, forget a hater. Cause I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor, God squad, yes, I got favor, God squad. Forget a hater, who?
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We on and live, y'all. Carry the message, uh, episode 34. Man, it seemed like it was just yesterday, y'all. This is episode number 34. Again, this is uh, uh, Pastor Molo Carey, and alongside of me is my beautiful queen, my real, my favor, First Lady Curry, AC. What it do, baby? What's up, you listeners, on today? Good evening. I'm praying that you guys have a blessed evening on this evening. Amen. Amen. That's the, that's <laughs> hey, that's my good thing, y'all. Amen. That's my good thing. The Lord went lying when he said when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. And every day I gotta celebrate my wife. I'm sorry, I know the brother's like, Man, you saw. Yeah, I be saw, but I gotta this this is this is who God gave me, so I gotta celebrate my good thing. <laughs> Amen. So I just wanna start with a word of encouragement. Amen. A word of encouragement and and we and we had this during our weekly Bible study. Uh, and the word comes from Psalms um, chapter 145, verse 15, when it says that the eyes of all look to you in hope. You give them their food as they need it. Amen. In this scripture, glory be to God, the Lord is telling us as long as we look towards him, he will provide for us as we need it. Amen. As we need it, that means there will be no lack. That means you won't have to want for anything as long as you're putting your faith on the Lord. He's going to provide for you as Come on, somebody. Somebody say it with me. As you need it. Amen. That means you won't run dry. Amen. You'll be like a tree that's by, by the river bank. You will not thirst. Y'all better talk to me on today. Glory be to God. I right, so we come to encourage somebody on today. As long as you keep your faith in God, the Lord has said, I will meet every need that you want. And not, uh, not only would I meet it, I will, I will give to you as. You need it. That means you won't work, you won't run out. When you're down to your last, the Lord gonna say, Oop, they need a refill and he's gonna give you a refill. Y'all better talk to me. You're not gonna want for nothing as long as you continue to focus on God. And that's what it's saying in this scripture. So I come to encourage somebody. It don't matter what it's looking like today. Amen. It don't matter what it's looking like today. Glory be to God. I don't care what your situation is. Woo! Come on here now. And I don't care what your situation is. I don't care who's talking about you. I don't care if you got more bills than money. As long as you keep your eyes on God, the Lord is going to provide as you need it. Come on, somebody. He's going to begin to take care of every bill that's in front of you. He's going to take care of any sickness that's trying to hinder you. Because as long as you focus on God, his word says, I will give to you as you need it. Oh, my Lord, who are we helping on tonight? Who are we helping on tonight? See, many people forget that, glory be to God, because when we hit the storm or when we come up against a storm, instead of going through the storm and uh, depending on God, we want to run away from uh, from the storm. And that's telling the Lord that you don't want to put your eyes on him no more. That's telling him that you don't have faith in him no more. When you begin to run away, you got to you can't run away. You got to run through it knowing that God is bigger than anything that's coming up against you. That's what he's saying. As long as you keep your eyes, oh, my Lord, as long as you keep your eyes in hope, Hallelujah. Now faith is the substance of things that are hoped for. They have not yet been seen. You've got to keep your eyes on God, knowing that he's going to do what he said he's going to do. The word says, walk by faith and not with sight. You've got to put your eyes on God and know that he's going to provide for you when as you need it. That's good, Pastor. you got to understand that God will provide for us as we need it. And that is amazing. But like you said, you have to stay connected to God and it doesn't matter because as long as you stay connected to God, opposition is mm. going to try yeah. you. Amen. You know, the ahead. anointing, we got to understand that the anointing calls. Okay. It so, calls. And, 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 and I love it because Jesus came down and he showed us how to do it by example. Well. And when he was walking into the calling that God has told him to do, People came up against him. They nailed him. They beat him. They told him he was not who God had sent him to be. So, therefore, we got to stay connected to God and keep our eyes focused on the future. Come on now. Keep our eyes focused on the glory. Keep our eyes focused on the promise. Come on now. Don't let nothing or no one get you off your promise. You got to let that devil know you used to have me, but you don't mm. have me today. Amen. You used to have my mind, but God has took it back from from you mm. today. You used to have my heart, but I'm snatching that back because my heart is made of God. Mm. Come on now. In the name of Jesus, we got to take back everything that we're trying to give us, that we're trying to cause us to back. We got to take back all things from the enemy. Yeah. We got to take it back. Gotta take the it back. Enemy, you cannot have it. Yeah. It's not yours to have. I'm coming to snatch back everything that was not that is that was in his mind that is not yours, devil. In the mighty name 
name of Jesus. So, you guys, I'm going to go in with a prayer on today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you for the word, God. We thank you for giving us power, God. We thank you for the anointing, God. Yeah. We thank you for just you being you, God. We thank you for sending Jesus, your son, on our behalf on how to do it, God, to how to walk this earth, to how to hold on to you, God. Lord, we thank you for your basic instructions before leaving earth. God, we thank you for the umbrella that you have us under, God, of you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the protection, oh God. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you for the lining up of our family, God, in your will. We thank you for using us for your glory, oh God. We thank you for the trials. We thank you for the testimony, God. We thank you for the furnace because we come out not smelling like smoke. Uh We thank you for shedding the love of the lion. We thank you on today, God, because you are the great I am. You are the prince of peace. Uh You are the power source. God, we thank you on today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel him already, y'all. Hallelujah. And he is so amazing. It's such an amazing feeling to feel the Holy Spirit to be touched by God. Amen. Come on, here. Amen. Our topic on today, Pastor, you want to say it because the Lord just gave it to you? Yes, 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 yes. Our topic today is going to be the Lord calls whom, the Lord qualifies whom he calls. The Lord qualifies whom he calls. Amen. We have a lot of people who, who who's doubting. Amen. And the Lord told me this. He dropped this into my spirit. We have a lot of a lot of uh, people who's doubting uh, what they've been called to do. Right? They're doubting everything. Their purpose. They're doubting. They're doubting their calling. Amen. Glory be to God. And 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 this is and this is causing. Uh, 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 the individual to, to walk in doubt. This is calling the people of God to be doubtful now because you begin to doubt your calling because you are not seeing the manifestation in which you want to see. But I come to tell you that if the Lord called you, he has qualified you. Amen. On today, the Lord has qualified you. Let's go to Scripture. Glory be to God. Let's go to Scripture. We're going to be coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, and we're going to be on verse 26. Amen. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26. Amen. I want you to understand that we got to be patient with God. Amen. We have to be patient. You cannot, we got to stop doubting your capabilities. And, I, and the Lord dropped this in my spirit the other day, and he's dropping it in my spirit again, that so many of us are doubting our capabilities, right? We're doubting our ability. You are doubting your intelligence. You're doubting everything that God has given you because you're not seeing the growth. You're not seeing a, a, a quick uh, growth in what in what God has called you to do. But I come to tell you all today that you must be stable. Glory be to God. You got to be patient in your position. Oh my Lord, on today you must be patient in your position. Glory be to God. Tell your neighbor, be patient in your position. Oh, this is good, Holy Ghost. We got to understand that it's going to take time. Amen. The Lord calls you, and then you go to a a process in which, in that process, in that process, he's qualifying you. But it's going to be some time from from, from when he calls you to the time you're qualified. You got to go through some things in order to get built for the qualification. But indeed, the Lord is taking you to being qualified. So when he calls you, he's already preparing you to be greater. But you just got to have patience in your position. Oh, my Lord, on today. Look at here. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26, listen to what Paul is telling us. Amen. He says, remember, dear brothers and sisters, that few of you were wise in the world's eyes or powerful or wealthy when God called you. Listen, listen, listen. Let me say this again. Let me say this again. Let me, let me, let me break it down a little bit. So Apostle Paul is telling us that, uh, that we were nothing to the world, Right? That we wasn't, we wasn't looked at as being intelligent. We wasn't looked at as being uh, 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 powerful or wealthy. It said that we was looked over when we was in the world. But he said the black sheep is the one I come for. Listen, when the ones, when people are talking about you, when people are saying that you're nothing, that's whom God comes calls because that's whom His glory will be revealed through. You got to understand. See, back when you was little, they talked about you. They always made fun of you. Your, your family don't want to don't want to be around you right now because they said you would not amount to nothing. But see, that's the ones that God will come and grab and show His glory through. You got to be patient in your position. Ooh, my Lord, on today, I come to encourage somebody to let you know that if God calls you, He's going to qualify you for that position. But you just got to be patient in your position. Yeah, I see out of the most remember, dear brothers and sisters, that few of you were wise in the world's eyes. What is that telling you? That the world was too busy talking about you. 
will indeed qualify. But we got to be patient in our position. Oh, my Lord. This is what Apostle Paul is telling us. He said, even though the world is looking at you one way, you got to be patient in your position. Because if God calls you, then that means he's going to qualify you. You are capable of doing what God has called you to do because he is the one that called you. Remember, he is the potter and we are the clay. So if he calls you to be a motivational speaker, he's about to mold you into that position because he called you. He's about to mold you. In his molding, he is qualifying you. He's shaping you up for that position. But we just got to be patient in our position. Whom the Lord calls, he indeed qualifies. You got to stop doubting yourself. Somebody tag and share this. This is good. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. Tell your friend to go ahead and call call up this line so they can go ahead and get this word. Again, hold on. The number is 646-564-9842 for my Facebook viewers. This is good. Hey, hey man, we got to understand that the Lord called. When he called you, he was indeed qualify you. Hey, man, if you read about Esther, you go to Esther. Now it says Esther was, a, was an orphan. Right? Mm-hmm. Esther was an orphan. Come on, let's go have a little church. Hallelujah. Then I'm passing it to my beautiful queen. Esther was an orphan. Right? Amen. Esther lost both of her parents. She was raised by Mordecai, which is her cousin, that took her that took her in as his own. Y'all better talk to me. Listen, but see, Esther was being called to be queen. See, even before she knew it, the Lord had, had already put the stamp on her life to be queen because he knew eventually that the Jews was going to be targeted, and by her being in this position, that will help the Jews get over the attack. Oh, my Lord, on today. So you got to understand that Esther was sent to be queen. Esther was called, but she had to go through some the process to be qualified first. Oh, she lost both her parents. She was raised by her cousin. This is the process to be qualified. Oh, and then it said when she got into the kingdom, immediately she found favor with the king. See, y'all don't want to talk to me. Amen. And when she was in king, when she was in the kingdom, that's when the attack on the Jews began. But the Lord waited on Esther to get there because she was about to be qualified to give an order that was going to stop the attack of the Jews. But see, oh my Lord, but she had to go through the process to be qualified. But when God called you, He will indeed qualify you for what He has called you for. Oh, y'all don't want to talk this evening. Come on. About Where are my listeners at? I need y'all to pull over and go ahead and shout. Hallelujah, because the Holy Ghost is speaking good on today. Glory be to God. When the Lord calls you, he will qualify you. First lady, he will qualify you. Come on, somebody. I ain't know nothing about being a pastor. I ain't know nothing about being a gospel artist. I ain't know nothing about, come on, somebody. We ain't know nothing about being no, no business owners or being over a church. But when God calls you, he will take you through the process to qualify you. Y'all don't want to talk this evening. Okay. Hallelujah. So stop doubting yourself because if you got that call from Jehovah, he already to start qualifying you. You got to stop doubting yourself. God is going to mold you into that position he wants you to be in. But you got to let go and let God. It says, look here, it says, it says, it says, hey, man, it says that Samuel approached David. It says that the Lord says, Samuel, go get Jesse's son. Hallelujah. Go get Jesse's son. Glory. Watch this. Watch this. And, and Samuel begins to go and get the son that was that was big in statue, right? That that physical physique was was bigger and, and looked stronger. But 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 the Lord said, no, 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 that's not the one. But why did he say that? Because the Lord had already called the one that he wanted to take that position. He already knew the one that he was going to qualify to be king. He already had called David to the throne before David even knew. But David had to accept the request. He had to accept the invitation, and then the process for the qualification began. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. How many of us are accepting the invitation? Come on. The Lord has sent you several invitations. He's he's telling you what your calling is, but you refuse to accept the calling because you are doubting your you are doubting your capability. If God has called you, he will qualify you. If he has called you, you are already capable of being in that position. Look at David. He had brothers that was bigger and stronger than him. But God said, no, I need the one who's shorter, who's little, who's younger. I need him because through the one that they're talking about, that's the one that my glory will be, will, uh, will be revealed through. They were talking about David. Who is this for? They were making fun of David. 
good. You right. God qualifies the one who calls. That is so amazing. That is so real. Because my God, and I love it how you said he goes for the black sheep. Because think about it, the black sheep, everybody like I'm the black sheep of the family. I know I was one, I was the black oh, sheep Lord. of my family. You know, and, and God said that since you're the black sheep, you're the one that's standing out to me. Think about it, because all sheep are white. So if you are the black sheep, you are the one that's standing out and you're the one God is going to pull to the forefront. See, everybody goes for the white sheep. They go they wanna they wanna bow down to the white sheep. They wanna receive the white sheep. But God said, I'm going I'm gonna build up this black sheep while y'all overlooking the Come black on. sheep. Well, I'm gonna put the black sheep on the pedestal. Well, I'm about to make the black sheep the first member well, in the family. Come on now. I'm about to give the black sheep a uh, anointed like never before that when y'all See the black sheep well, again. Y'all gonna be like something different about this sheep. Come uh-huh. on, who is the black sheep of the family? Come on. Come on now in the name of Jesus. Well, I'm here to tell you, God will get you from the back and pull you to the front. He will, uh, the, he will allow you to not go from overlooked to overbooked. Yeah. Now in the name of Jesus, uh-huh. He will allow you to be looked down on, to be looked up to. Come on now in the Hello. name of Jesus, He will allow you to only go from having two dollars to have millions of. Come on now, who are the black sheep? Who am I talking to? Who are the black sheep on today in the mighty name of Jesus? You're the one that God is looking at because you're standing out in the mighty name of Jesus in his eyes. Come on now. Pastor, you were talking about David, and I wrote David down as well. David, God equipped David first. He said, oh, if I call you, I'm going to equip you before I send you out. And before God sent David out to to fight Goliath, he equipped him first because mm-hmm. David was in the field it. working with his five sheep and, 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 and lambs and goats and different things of that nature. Yeah. And so when the lambs and goats was out there and David was working with them, he said that there were bears and lions trying to attack. Yeah. So therefore, he had to go and kill them. He was he was fighting off. Bears and lions, so God had equipped him yeah. for his calling. Yeah. Sometimes we not understanding why are we going through this. It's, it's not making sense to us right now. I'm sure it didn't make sense of why these bears and these lions trying to attack the, 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 the flock Talk that I'm it. watching over. But Talk essentially, when that day came when he had to fight Goliath, it all made sense. Yeah. So when the people was looking at him, Pastor, and was like, who do you think you are? Come on here. Yeah. Who do you think you are going to come up here and beat this big old giant that has been fighting for yeah. years? Come on. That have this whole army of people shaking and running. The the lion told them, let me tell you who I am. I already been equipped for the position because I was in the field. I was in the field. (laughs) When I was watching over the boy and the sheep, I had to fight off these big lions and these big bears, and I even killed some of them because greater (laughs) is he that is in me than the one that is in the world. So I know what's on the inside of me. Uh Why are y'all running again? Why are y'all afraid again? Because y'all are the army of God. He said you have the power. If God equips you for if he calls you for it, he's going to equip you That's for it. it. Yeah. So when David went out there and Goliath was trying to talk David, David said, All I need is a sling shot in a rock. See, all you need sling is shot a rock. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. That's all you need. Come on here. Yeah. All you need is yeah. one word and your giant is going yeah. to be defeated. Yeah. All you need yeah. is that one word and that enemy that is trying to fight you is going to be defeated. All you need is one word and you're going to walk into glory. Don't let that giant put fear in you. God said, if I eat, call you, I am going to eat with you. I'm sure at that time, Pastor, it didn't make sense why. David was fighting off these lions and David. My Lord. But eventually, he see, he saw why he had to do that. Yeah. He was being equipped for what was yeah. coming. Yeah. Some of us are in positions now that we are being equipped for what, what, what is coming. God said, you are on a training ground right now. I'm equipping you for what is coming. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Because you're going to know that greater is he that is in you than the one that is in the world. So now I am equipping yeah. you for what is coming. You're going to be able yeah. to defeat anything. Yeah. 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 Come on now. I love it. Abraham. Yeah. Yeah. God equipped you first before 
before he sends you out. Yeah, yes he does, yes he does. Abraham yes, was does. called to the nation. And God had to equip him first before he put him in that right, righteous position. Mm. So when God told Abraham to get up, God said, I need you to go because you are about to good. be the father of many nations. Abraham did not know where he was going. Mm. Abraham had to have faith on what what God had told him, basically. He had to have a Hebrews 11 and 1 type of faith. Come on now. <laughs> Things that is hopeful <laughs> for, but not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Come, Come on now in the name of Jesus. Come so on. God yeah. equipped yeah. him first. And it says, as he was going, things and situations, I'm sure, was coming his way. Uh-huh. Because in the Bible, Pastor, uh-huh. it said that when him and his wife was walking into a part of the city, Abraham on. said that you got to tell them you are my sister Come on, and not my uh-huh. wife. So Talk that just it. lets you know fear yeah. came up in Abraham. Yeah. It's okay if fear come up in you, but don't keep it there. Come on uh, now. You got to go to God good. and say, listen, Lord, you called me for this. Mm-hmm. So I need you to qualify that's good, me that's good, for this. That's good. God, you have called me to the yeah. nation, so I need you to qualify yeah. me to defeat the giant. I need you to allow every demon that's yeah. coming my way to be defeated. I need you to guide me into my next. Come on now. I need you to help me because fear is settling in. It said that Abraham built all the yes, he yes, was yes, walking to Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. God was equipping yes, him yeah. for his nation. Uh-huh. God was equipping him for the nation. We got to understand Ooh. that. If God says, Abraham, if God says, Pastor Marlo, if God word. says, call Pastor First Lady Alicia, that means he's going to equip you for the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Pastor said, when God told him to go to Pastor, he didn't know how to do it. He didn't know how to do it. But God said, as long as you answer me, yeah. I am going to equip you. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, and he yeah, said, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. think yeah. back to oh, when I first told you, Pastor, yeah, that, yeah. that yeah. you were going to be the pastor, I was equipping you then years ago because you started reading Genesis all the way to Revelation. Come on. Yeah. 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 I equipped you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, my Lord, on today. See, Nehemiah. Yeah. Y'all, I'm feeling the Holy Spirit. Nehemiah Woo. was qualified. My Lord. For the call. Yes, he was. It yes, says in Nehemiah, when they told him that they were clowning over in Jerusalem, Nehemiah first had to go get purified. Yeah. For the call. Uh-huh. Mm. He had to go get equipped. Uh-huh. For the call. For the call. <laughs> he had to call on the equipper for the call. Yeah. He had to call on the power source for the call. <laughs> Come on. He had to call on the power source for yeah. the assignment. Yeah. Hallelujah. My Lord. So first it said that Nehemiah went and got went at the feet of Jesus and allowed God to equip him mm-hmm. for the next. Yeah. So when he went over to Jerusalem and to build the wall of Jericho, Pastor, God, he was already equipped. Mm-hmm. So now when it was time for him to uh, be qualified for the call, God had already gave him instructions mm-hmm. on how to build mm-hmm. and who to put mm-hmm. there. So listen, you guys, I'm here to tell you, don't be afraid. Don't get weary and well doing because it's God called you to be a if God calls you to be a pastor, if God calls you to be an evangelist, if he calls you to the nation, if he calls you for mega, if he calls you to do his will, he's going to equip you. Ooh, yeah. oh, my. my Lord, today. Come on here. Feel him. Feel him. My Lord. Hallelujah. My Lord. It said that Ezra <laughs> was well versed in the word. Oh, my Lord. It said that Ezra Talk about it. was well versed in the word. Yes, he was. Talk about but it. But in order for Ezra uh-huh. to be well versed in the word, well, well, come on God now. had to equip him. He had to equip him. Well, God had yeah. to equip come him on before here. he called him. Before he called him. It mm. said that God told Ezra to build the my temple Lord. of God. Yeah. It said my that, Lord. that the enemy was doing everything he can to get Ezra off. My Lord. He was sending things. He was putting up, trying to put things in a way. So God said, let me pause you, Ezra, yeah. because I equipped you, and you already.
already know that your power on the inside of you is powerful because I am with you, but let me move some things out of your way so you can continue to keep moving forward in my will because Ezra, God said he equipped you. Oh, my Lord. God said he yeah. used you for the cause. God said Ezra was well versed in the word because what? he got he went deep. Yeah. He allowed the Lord to qualify you. See, some of us still yeah. some of us still got
You let go and let God and say, God, he called me, so I am equipped for this. You are built for this. God said, I gave you the oh, blueprint before you even uh, came to the earth. This is good. He said, I gave you the blueprint in your mother's belly. He said, I called you in your mother's belly. I knew you in your mother's belly. I knew you when I was forming you. Beautiful and wonderfully made. So you are equipped for the call. You are equipped. Hallelujah. So you are equipped enough to tell that demon he has to flee. You are equipped enough to be a giant slayer. Come on now. You are equipped enough to tell every mountain that is trying to block your blessings to move. You are equipped enough to tell and the walls of the Jericho will come down. You are equipped enough. God said as long as you stay behind the ark, I will put back everything that tries to hinder you. Different batteries in there. The 
uh, besides the one that is asking for, we're not going to be able to utilize, utilize the full power. We're not going to be able to use that camera to its full capabilities because we're putting the wrong batteries in there. We are connected to the wrong outlet. Many of us are not connected to the right outlet because we are doubting our capability. We are doubting what God has told us to do. We are not holding on to the tools that God has already equipped us with. We're plugging into the world. And because we're plugging into the world, we're not getting full access to our purpose. In order to get full, oh my Lord, on today, see, the, the enemy don't like this. Now he's trying to reconnect. The enemy don't like this. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But we must we must grab full access. In order to grab full access, we must activate the power. Glory be to God. We got to utilize the things that God has already given us. Come on. That's right. Talk about it. Talk about it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are running from our, from, we are running from the instructions. Verse 80. Yeah, we are. We're running from the tools that God has given us. We're running from them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are running from them. Right. In the mighty name of Jesus, we got to stop running. Glory be to God. Mm-hmm. Glory be to God. Amen. I love it because we also have to understand that before Moses was qualified, he had to first take off what was filthy. Mm-hmm. God said, I'm calling you to be qualified. So first, Moses, this is holy ground. You have to take off your shoes. So before you be qualified, you got to allow God to purify you first. Come on here. So he can take you to where he needs to take you to be. <laughs> Amen. My Lord. So you guys, uh, oh, my God, this is really good. My you Lord. know, we got to know that when the enemy is trying you, that means it's something in you that he don't like. If the enemy is coming for you heavy, that means, you are qualified to do the will of God. You're qualified. So do not worry about what is being thrown on the side of you. Stay focused on what's in front of you. God said, and I love Pastor, you said this before, your rearview mirror is small for a reason. Yeah, Amen. Come on in. And your front mirror is big for Stop a reason. I'm taking myself now. Because <laughs> it's big enough. God said, I got so much in front of you. It is so big that what happened in your past is this small. None of this. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter what happened. You got to let that devil know I am past my past. Hallelujah. And God has qualified me for my now. Mm-hmm. And he's equipping me to do what he has called me to do. Amen. So do not get weary and well doing. Mm-hmm. Do not get fearful. Mm-hmm. And if you do, because we are wrapped in this flesh, you let God know, hey, Lord, I need you because when I am weak, you are made strong. Mm. God, you have qualified me for such a time as this. So God is one to equip you. So therefore, take off your shoes. Take your shoes. Before you enter the holy ground. Take off them so God can use you for the glory. Allow him to purify you, Pastor. It said that Nehemiah got uh, purified first before he went out to touch the wall. Yeah, yeah, he did. Before he went out to build. Yeah, he, he did. He let God uh, purify him first. He said, God, I see that you called me, but since you called me, I need you to purify me first so you can qualify me for what you're sending me to do. Amen. And it said that when, when the people were coming up, to, uh, when God was telling Nehemiah to put the people in place, Pastor, he told them to make sure you purify yourself first. And before you do anything, you pray first. God said, I equipped you and I have called you, but you got to make sure you stay purified in me. My Lord. Listen, Amen. Listen here, y'all. Moses. Moses had a speech impediment. I want somebody to, I want somebody to catch this. I want somebody to catch this. Moses had a speech impediment. The Lord told Moses, I need you to go down to Pharaoh, and I need you to talk to him and tell him to let, let the people of Israel go, uh-huh. right? I need you to go down there and talk to him. And Moses was like, are you sure? Because, you know, they kept on going back and forth, are you sure? But see, the Lord had already called Moses for the, for the, for the position. He already called him. So he was going to qualify Moses to speak clearly oh, without stuttering. Come on, somebody. If you, if you read it, if you read it after that, you don't hear about Moses with a speech impediment. You don't hear about Moses stuttering. Hallelujah. Because the Lord said, if I called you, I will qualify you. Moses didn't understand the, his calling at first. But then he began to walk in his calling because he realized if God called me, he's going to qualify my Lord on today. you got to understand. Let go of your doubts. If God has called you, he's going 
glorify you. Moses kept on going back and forth with God. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Come on, somebody, that you want me to go speak. And the Lord said, if I called you, I qualified. Y'all better talk to me. Come on now. Moses had a speech impediment. Moses had a speech that the Lord told Moses to go speak. Hallelujah. And Moses went down there and did what he had to do with Aaron on his side. But he went down there and did what he had to do because once God calls you, he's going to equip you and qualify him out. And qualify you. Oh, this guy, hey, look here, look here, look here. Somebody needs to get this in their spirit. you got to stop walking around with your head down. The Lord said, if I called you, I'm going to equip you. Come on, somebody. It's not going to be man philosophy that equips you. It's not going to be you sitting in the classroom that equips you. Only God can give you the type of qualifications that you need going forth. Oh, my Lord, I'm today. God said, if I called you, I'm going to equip you. I'm going to qualify you. Man can't do what I can do. Stop listening to man and listen to, ooh. Come on, talk about it. Stop listening to man. And listen to God. Come on here. Apostle Paul tells us, hallelujah, that the world look at you as if you're not smart enough, as if you're not this and that. But the Lord said, this is the one I'm going to use because I'm going to show them that with me, they got it, or they got the wisdom. With me, they got knowledge. With me, they got strength. With me, they are intelligent. Now, nah, man can't do you like God can. The Lord pulls in you. And the Lord is saying, if you just answer the call and continue to walk in the way I'm telling you to walk and embrace the qualifications that I've already given you, you're going to walk into a world of success. Oh, who am I talking to? The Lord just said success. Oh, my Lord, I'm looking and talking to a lot of success stories right now. Oh, my Lord, oh, today somebody should have caught that. Come on. Somebody should have caught that. I am walk, I am talking, and we are looking at success stories right now. The Lord said, if I called you, I'm going to qualify you. If I called you, you will be successful. If I called you, you will be healed. If I called you, you will be delivered. If I called you, you will be prosperous. Hallelujah. You got to believe that when I called you, I will qualify you from the position that I have taken you in. We just got to be patient in what? Our position. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because if the Lord calls you, he's going to qualify you. That's right. And if God has spoken some things over your life, which I'm sure he has, because as long as you stay in his position, he has so much. God said, I give you a slice of heaven on earth. Know that the enemy is going to come. Come on now, because he don't want yeah. you to get nothing that God has for you. He wants you to think God is never going to do it. He wants you to think that mm. you're not smart enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not you you're not even equipped to have it. Who? Why am I called for this position? Mm. But I'm here to tell you, God said you might think you the black sheep, but that's the one I'm looking for. Amen. Mm. Because I'm about to bring them up to the forefront. He said I made you the black sheep because I wanted you to stand out in Come my eyes. Amen. On, Even though you don't look on, like me. like the people want you to look, God said, "Oh, you look exactly how I want you to look. You the you the black sheep of them all, and I'm pulling you to to the for, for, forefront because you are the one I got my eyes on. I have to make you the black sheep so I can find you. Come on now, in the name of Listen here, listen here. We read about Joseph, my Lord. The Holy Come Spirit on. just dropped this. We read about Joseph, Amen. and many people know that Joseph got the position as being governor. Mm-hmm. But how many of us know that in reading the in reading the story, we, we didn't hear Joseph studying in politics. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, y'all don't want to talk to me. In reading the story, not uh-huh. once did it say that Joseph was in the politics, uh-huh. that he was a politician. Yet he got the position of being governor. Oh, y'all, y'all see, y'all don't want to talk. Yeah, I don't want to talk. Come on, somebody. Let's go deeper. See, we got to go deeper in God. It said that Joseph was governor over Egypt, was governor. The Lord called Joseph to be governor. Joseph was not studying to be a politician. Oh, y'all don't want to. He did not sit in no classroom to be a politician because when God called you, hallelujah, he will qualify you in doing what, you, what you've been sent to do. It said Joseph was governor over Egypt. Yeah. And it, it didn't say now once that Joseph studied being a politician. Joseph was the black sheep. They talked about Joseph. They were jealous of yeah. Joseph because his father gave him a multicolored coat. Oh. So they looked at Joseph like, hold on, why are you getting a special treatment? He was a black sheep. Hallelujah. But the Lord took that black sheep and called that black sheep. 
Joseph didn't study no politics. Mm-hmm. Sister Kim, Joseph didn't study no politics. Mm-hmm. Hey, Amen. It said Joseph went from the went from the house to the well, from the well to the for, to the to the houses of slavery, from the house of the slavery to the to the prison, from the prison to being governor. Come on, somebody. Not once did it say Joseph went into a classroom. Come on. Come on. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Joseph went from his from his crib to the well to slavery to prison and then and to the high position of being governor over Egypt. And not once said that Joseph went to a classroom to study politics. That's because when God calls you, He will give you the qualification in which He called you to do. Amen. Oh my Lord on today. Amen. Whew, I'm done. Hey. My Lord, on today, tell your neighbor, nobody can do me like Jesus. Nobody can do me like Jesus. Oh, my Lord, on today, I wish we had, my Lord, on today, I wish we could call some people to call in and we could hear y'all praise. I ain't lying because this is good. I feel it in my spirit that people are going crazy in, in my sanctified soul. They live oh, in their sanctified oh, mind oh, right oh. now. Glory be to God. Come I on. need you to understand. The Lord said, reiterate this. Oh, this is good on today. Ooh, the Lord said, listen here, watch this. Joseph went from being, being in the house to being in a well, to being in slavery, to going to the prison, to sitting in the high position of being governor. Not once did he go to a classroom. Not once did he have a teacher. Not once did he put a, uh, take a book out to study politics. Why? Because God, in, in, doing, in doing what he went through, God was qualifying him to sit in the position of being governor because God called him. When God calls you, he will qualify you. And ain't no man to take away from what God is going to put you in. Can nobody take away your blessing if you embrace the calling, if you begin to walk in the calling. The Lord is saying, I'm about to take you in places that you ain't never imagined you will be in. So, the Lord. Oh, my Lord, on today. Y'all don't want to talk this evening. It's a blessing. God called Joseph. God qualified Joseph. Yes, did. God set Joseph in that high, mm-hmm. in that high seat. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. It's necessary. You know, it's necessary for us to go through the process mm. because the process is equipped. Don't us doubt the call. The power. So, yeah. For Do the not power. doubt the call. Mm-hmm. Do not doubt the call. Amen. Listen. Do not doubt the call. Amen. Do not doubt the call. Do not doubt the call. Amen. When God calls you to do something, he's going to make sure that you got the qualifications that you need in order to complete the task at hand. He will qualify you. Glory be to God. Now, I don't want nobody to say that pastor said, telling me don't go to school. I'm not saying that. I'm telling you to listen to what God is telling you. I'm saying that Joseph, hallelujah, wasn't told to go to school when God put him in the place where he was at because the Lord called him. Oh, my Lord, on today. See, when you get that answer, when you answer the call from God, you begin to listen to the instructions of God. Now, the Lord may tell you to go that way. Hallelujah. But you got to listen to what God is telling you. I'm just making it plain that what Joseph did, the Lord called Joseph, told Joseph where he's going to be, and the Lord took him and qualified him to be in that position because Joseph answered the call, and he was willing to have faith in God while he was on the phone with God. Oh, he now hung up on God. Oh, this is good. He never hung up on God. When God called him, he kept him on the line. It said on the main line. Don't they got a song talking about Jesus on the main line? Come on, somebody. They got a song Jesus on the main line? Hallelujah. You better keep Jesus on the main line. Hallelujah. So you can get the instructions of what he wants you to do. Glory be to God. Joseph kept Jesus on the main line. He kept the Father on the main line. And that's why he was able to be qualified for the position of being the governor. Who are we talking to today? You got to keep the Lord on the main line. Because when the Lord calls you, he will qualify you. Woo! My Lord, man, I feel like that. I feel like, oh, look here. I feel like preaching. I feel like leaving here and, and opening up and going to a church and having a service. I tell you, I feel it. The Lord is good. Glory to God. Oh, my Lord. It's truly a blessing. My Lord. I feel the power of God. Like, it, it's truly a blessing. I feel like I just want to go and just scream to the mountaintop. Jesus is good, y'all. It's truly an amazing Ooh. gift to have. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, my Lord. You know. He qualifies you. He qualifies you, you for it. You he know, qualifies you. He said, I knew you when you were formed in your mother's belly, and I qualified and you. And I qualified you. My will. Amen. Amen. So, so we said that together. I know. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> hey, y'all, we said that together. We in unison. That was so cute. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You guys, we love y'all so much. 
thank you for tuning in to Curvy the Message podcast, episode number 34. We for real, y'all. You guys, I want to give a shout out to our sister Kimmy Robinson from Elations Radio. Sister Kimmy Kim. Thank you, sis. Amen. We love you so much. We pray that you have a blessed and prosperous day. Amen. Uh, the Lord is expanding your territory as well, sister. Amen. Amen. The Lord is expanding your your territory as well. Glory be Amen. to God. Amen. Contracts. I see new contracts coming. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And the Lord spoke that to me. I think the other night he dropped he dropped you in my spirit. Glory be to God. He said some. I, I saw you just sign a contract or something. Some it, it's something expansion coming. Glory be to God. Amen. You've been faithful. Glory be to God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, man, that's a, that's awesome. Yeah. God's pleased with Hallelujah. you. My God, anything is bound to happen. Amen. God is pleased. Amen. Amen. So you guys, um, I, uh, my book, Prison of the Mess, is on Amazon.com. You guys go check that out. Uh, Pastor Curry, uh, his songs, all that's left, and keep on. It's on all uh all platforms for 99 cents, you guys. Uh, our clothing line, Leola's Clothing, www.leolas.com. You guys, go check us out. God got us still having other merchandise go check on it out. as well for babies, men, babies, for men, women. For women. He's preparing us for the store, mm-hmm. for the store. Welcome store. to Leola. Yes, come on now for the the the, the, uh, the store in the, the mall. The storefront, the brick and mortar. Come on, the somebody. The store in the Welcome mall. Come on now, in the name of Jesus. But I just love it. Uh Oh, what else? I feel like I'm missing something, Pastor. Should be charge it to the head, not the heart, yes. amen. You guys, if I'm missing something, please amen. charge it to the head and not the amen. heart. Amen. Amen. Uh, we love you guys so much. You guys tune in to our uh, Sunday worship service every Sunday at 11 o'clock. Yes. Uh, we do do Bible study over the line, amen, from uh, 6 to 7 on Thursday. You guys. 6 to, six to 7. Yeah, 6 to 7 on Thursday. 6 on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We do have a Bible line that we do on Wednesdays as well that we put out there on the church page. So just be looking out for uh, what God has us doing. Yes. You guys, we love you all so much. Thank you for tuning in again. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. <laughs> Yes, Lord. We need you. Hallelujah. They hate and they point and they talking. I won't fall back. I'm still walking. My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on. Hallelujah. They hate and they point and they talking. And I won't fall back. I'm still walking. My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on. Searching for my purpose okay. The preacher on fire Got me focused in the service He said bless is the man I'm pressing through the fire It seems I'm falling back But I know I'm going higher Favor don't look like favor Look like a dead end You preaching today sir Please say it again Faith is what we hope for Speaking to existence At times I feel lost It's like I'm out of position Then my mind start racing Thinking about David And how he had one stone That dropped him to the pavement Now I hear the word how Joseph was abandoned And even though he fell His faith was still standing I'ma toughen up and walk the miles that he chose He done told me in the gym But your mouth will be closed The word on fire The anointing I can hear it I'm sitting in this road And I can feel his Holy Spirit They hate and they point and they talking And I won't fall back I'm still walking My head to the sky And I promise gonna keep on They hate and they point and I won't fall back, I'm still walking My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on The devil won't get me, cause the Lord already saved me I'm clutching on this grace, embracing all that he gave me At times I get weary, the storm means I'm tested I ask to be purged, just in case I got infected Before I came in, I was listening to church He said we got the victory, I'm healed from the hurt I started feeling good, but we're the last throughout the week I'm being real, it's the truth that I speak I'm called to be chosen, I'm called to be great But I'm wrapped up in this flesh and my faith begins to break Then I remember about James 1.12 And how we serve the one and his name never fails I hear the altar call, yeah, he pulling on my soul I'm feeling recharged, I was back on my pose Was sweet for a minute, but greater is he Now I'm walking
looking at my purpose and it's favor on me. They hate and they point and they talking. And I won't fall back, I'm still walking. My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on. Hallelujah. They hate and they point and they talking. And I won't fall back, I'm still walking. My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on. Promise gonna keep on 